Hi, we're back, and we're a little bit different. There's this. It's not just a weird audio thing. There's actually visuals, so you can see my co-host, Bryce the Prince. Hi! I mean, you guys might be listening on Spotify, which probably means, you know, that you can't, you see, can't us. see us. But, but if you're um... watching, but if you're on YouTube, you can now see our ugly mugs. So, uh, congratulations. You Beautiful beard. Get this visual now. So two bad hairlines. Yeah, yeah. Or a bad hairline. I mean, but I'm not. I'm not doing too bad here. I mean, I'm. I'm thinning definitely. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Can't relate. But I mean, I mean, you're 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 starting to recede a little bit in the it's called a mature hairline. Look it up. Corners. Check Google. Hey, I mean. If you want to talk maturity, I've got. Where's my gray? It's like, like that, it's that, right, that right patch there. right here. That patch, yeah. That's maturity. Uh huh. I thought that's what kids. I mean, I'm kids. married, so I don't really care about the gray. So. That's what kids will do to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's probably part of it. I don't think I started really getting the gray until our second was born. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we got some. Anyways. So we got some cool visuals. You can now see our, well, our Twitter handles down below. Those are so at least for me. That's the ad for everything. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. That's all the same. I have no clue what prices are. It probably might be the same. Uh, I mean, it's basically just twi- uh, on Twitch. Twitter for me. Yeah, um, if, if you YouTube. were to look for me on Twitch, it would be at Bryce the Prince. I can't remember what my YouTube, uh, my exact... Br- oh, no, it's Bryce Gaming. It's Bryce the Prince Gaming, I think. Yeah. It's uh, YouTube.com, I think, slash Bryce the Prince Gaming. Slash at the Bryce the Prince Gaming, yeah. Because I couldn't keep things short and sweet, so... Yeah, <sighs> yeah so what that's can you do? gonna be it. You can now see this on video probably the same day, if not a day ahead or something. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah. figure it out as we go audio will still be up monday tuesday so no more pre-recording we're back to doing it live yeah yeah i mean it was nice i think for us both for the last two weeks to just kind of be done right you know um i was a little late getting the one the first one edited the mary specsmas but to be uh, fair i i've there have been weeks where i'll forget and i'll post it wednesday night because i just flat yeah forget, so you're not i'm not in any i'm in no but, position to judge the only thing that sucks oh, yeah. now, the only thing that sucks now, is like if I have to reply to somebody, I can't do it because now everyone can see me. So, yeah, I mean this this could be nice when we start, you know, uh, if if there's ever one where we want to like stream it, sort of thing, but uh, like yeah, we did that one time with Perry. Yeah, so now we actually I can just go boop. We're good. You'd have to add like a, a third. And like yeah, I'm. We'll cross room. that bridge when I when we get to it. Maybe we'll have a different background and like we we'll do it the ESPN style with the long no, thin I think boxes. If it's, and... I, I think if we have three, it's just gonna we're gonna put all the cams up, and I'm just gonna capture Discord and throw Discord up there. Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be the easiest way to go. Because at least with now, I can at least fake it a little bit. So. We're good, but if we have to get like multiples in here, that's when we're gonna have problems. Yeah. But until then, we're, we're okay. It, but yeah, no, it's a uh, new spiffy. thing of technology. Trying to do some new stuff in the uh, new year, like we talked about last week. Um, it's yeah. nice. It it really is. It's it's cool having one. It's cool for me stretching my like Twitter YouTube crap to like different things and all that stuff and asset building and all that and then doing yeah, the, all the idea the idea i think we that sparked all this was we were talking about possibly doing some youtube shorts just as a way to like mm-hmm. seems like youtube shorts is always a good way to like get people to like just see stuff like there's no rhyme i mean there is some rhyme or reason but like it seems like YouTube shorts tend to be seen by more eyeballs than just regular can, YouTube videos. Yeah, I can say they have at least for me. Uh, so that that that's that seems to be the case. Might be a good way to get some of you guys in here and listen to us and uh, hear us talk some sports or video games or whatever. So. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
So before we get into the football stuff, um, do you get anything cool video game wise for Christmas? Oh, that's a good question. I know this is um, what I know my, this is. I know this is really like one of those weird things where it's like probably not really because there's not a lot of there's not a lot that really came out, and I know like the sales sort of ended or are still going on. But I know we're every we're kind of like eh, we you know. Yeah, my my sister actually did get uh, Abby and I um, switch sports. Oh, nice! So kind of going back to the old Wii Sports day. Um, in terms of that, and we did that a lot last week while we we're still in California. Um, we haven't done it much since we got back, but that's mostly just because we've been busy since then. So there'll probably be some switch sports gaming over the weekends. You know, it's always the, the only thing I've seen from that is they said the bowling was kind of broken. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's not <sighs> all, basically all I have to do with with bowling is figure out like one or two bowls see what like which way it's going sort of thing which way the ball's spinning sort of thing mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden i can just like go to the right position once and just bowl the same yeah, way and get like strikes and spares constantly so yeah sounds about right my favorite thing was um i played with my nephew and <laughs> we were playing like volleyball and tennis and he's just like this you know He's, you know, he's four years old. He's going to turn five in like four months or something. And he, he is just like jumping around and like doing all this stuff. And like, he was dominating <laughs> because all that mattered was, it would just be like, it would just, the, the switch wouldn't know how to like interpret it. So it's like, oh uh, yeah, you're, you're blocking the volleyball. Okay, cool. He just moved, it's yeah. like, I thought how because that all he's doing is just jumping around. I was like, huh. You know, yeah, it doesn't had, really take a lot of skill. You know, we had Wii Sports back in the day. How come we, because we did the home run derby all the time. How come we didn't just take a, because I had a wiffle ball bat. Why did we take the bat and strap it to the stupid Wii thing, to the Wii remote? So we could at least pretend like we were actually holding the bat and be like, boom. Because I, like with the Wii remote, it was sort of like, you had to like, we two hand it, but it just felt weird. You like, you like how in my swing there, I'm obviously grabbing out right there because it's like. <laughs> But to keep it in print, that's the only way. I can't be like, Ooh, and yeah, get no, like a real home run right. out of it. So, so I did. I think I, I think I sent you it. So I pulled out my old Xbox 360 because I wanted to play some good old NCAA. My camera froze. Some good old NCAA football here. I have thirteen. Ooh. I have thirteen. I don't have fourteen like the cool kids do. Um, but I went to plug in my He's Xbox. He's talking about me. I'm the cool kids. I thought I did. I don't know why I bought 13, but I mean, there's not really a difference. I just can't get revamped, which sucks, but whatever. Um, but I went to plug in my X, my Xbox. I'm like, cool. This would be great to stream. I could put like you in, I could put like all of us in it. We could make our own team. We could, you know, go, go hot, go ham and, and you know, start in like the Mac or not the Mac, like the, is the big West was the big West in NCAA. Or we'd have to be like, no, the whack was. I think it was. I the think whack it was, was still around at the time. Yeah, the whack was right because that's where Fresno was, wasn't it? I think so. It's been a long time. I don't remember exactly like, when those conferences but like all throwing, uh, yeah, but like taking and... like taking you know throwing them in the whack or something. But I went to plug it in, and my power brick's dead. Like it doesn't. It's red. The red lights on, so I have to wait to get that get the thing and i totally forgot to buy it so um ncaa so still streams, on it. yeah i just gotta buy it so ncaa streams are coming soon because i think yeah, it and eventually really and eventually specs will get his uh his uh, dslr hookup working and i have so i okay i have it working it's just being a royal pain in the ass because yeah. it's it because it's going through a program and it's like the previews at a different frame rate so I don't know if I like if I click go live, will it work? Because I want it to work, but I do have a workaround. I have the stream link if I want to go about it to do it. But that uses my webcam, my iPhone as a webcam, and it throws it over Wi-Fi, which is a whole other thing when you're streaming. Yeah. <sighs> so you want to save your bandwidth when you're streaming. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully I can get the DSLR at least kind of going. Um. 
the only other workaround I could think of is I get a USB to HDMI and use my old webcam in the same spot. But I have a DSLR and it's like, I might as well use the damn thing. But yeah, we have, yeah. Th- there are workarounds. So I'm trying to get the two cameras set up. But the angle yeah. I'm the angle I'm using isn't bad. I don't mind the angle I'm using. Um, after reorganizing my desk, I my cord management is horrible, so driving me crazy. So at some point, I'm gonna have to disconnect everything. I have the cord sheet, the cord cover thing to put everything in. I just have to unplug it and you know do all that stuff. That's either here nor there. It look I I think the setup now looks good. It it it's not like before. The monitor I have to reads in front of me. The game monitors to the side, the camera's a little off-centered. It looks artsy as fluff. And you can see, like, there's art actually on my walls. Um, there's a poster. And then you can, I should flip them every so often. But this paint, there's a painting over my shoulder here you can't see that my mom drew. That is from, th- that's like... I took a picture of it like in Disneyland and she painted it. So I, I think at some point I'm going to have to like flip them. Hmm. But like I can, you know, put you know, shit on the wall and I can put more shit on the wall. Yeah. Because, you know, art or something. Yeah, for me, for the most part, uh, yeah, you when gotta, it comes like, to recording videos, gotta, I just do my green screen. So you have a blackout curtain behind you. I do, I do. We like to control the amount of light that comes in when, you know, when yeah, no, here, so. especially like if you guys are on opposite shifts. And, yeah. uh, I I understand yeah. the idea of like night shift. Yeah. It, it does make for interesting naps, though. Like, oh, I believe uh, it. <laughs> Wait, how I long have I been asleep? Four thirty. I decided to go take a nap in oh, our Lord. bedroom, and like I just because I was tired, and you know, Abby and I will probably stay up watching, you know, whatever tonight, and. And, uh, and, uh, it was just funny because when I woke up, I was just like, what is going on? Where am I? Because, you know, it's like black in my room. So, yeah, no, I get it. It doesn't matter when I, I mean, it, to some extent, I can't, my body can recognize, oh, it's daytime now because they're, the black curtains aren't like sealed to the wall. So, like, you can still see like some sunlight creeping in, but. But it's nice. It's nice because it, you know, like I said, it allows us to kind of keep our control over the light coming into the apartment. So, Mm -hmm. anyways. So, to answer the question, I didn't really buy any games. I got Warhammer. That was like a gift that my cousin got me. So, I'm playing, I got Warhammer Dark Tide. Um, Yeah. But I did get myself Game Pass. So, that's where all my games are coming. Yeah, Game Pass is always good. Um, if I had more money to spare, I'd probably do Game Pass if I was doing I, dog, Xbox I got, Live at all. Dog, so I got codes coming out the wazoo. I got three months out the booty hole. I think oh, I got. Yeah. I, think I, I have I, another. I, think I have one for PC that I got from. Yeah, I have one from Twitch that's from like PC too, and I get them from Discord. And I'm like, I I keep asking, I'm like, do you want these? Because I they just because <laughs> they just sit there. Like yeah. these things, just, they, they, what is it? Where where to go? Like these things just sit here, and I'm like, oh my god! Like just like please, like someone take them, like please. I guess yeah, I get that. that. Nope. nope. Where is it? <laughs> like there's someone <sighs> I'm just like I guys. <laughs> Hello, please. Um, you know, I think we talked about sports. Our, our, I was about to say the name, but uh, I don't want to necessarily people to find it on YouTube. But our old, uh, our old attempt at sports talk mm-hmm. on YouTube, mm-hmm. and uh, this actually, it's kind of like funny. I think we're doing a better job doing it now here using like this whole setup. Yeah, shocking. Yeah, shocking. What happens when you're 12 years later and you understand how things work? And you have like technical training and stuff, and yeah, it, no, both two you guys, and I yeah, have done guys in who, kind yeah. of a way that we can both be trained technically. Yeah, two guys who have um, done both worked in live, like production, live production, some in two, in two different facets of the same word. Yeah, 
uh, me, like, I mean, both live, like me, you know, transmitting signals and stuff and all that, and same thing with you. So, but Hogwarts yeah, no, is coming yeah. out soon, so we'll have that to look forward to in what March. I am, I am stoked for that. That is, is that March? Uh, I think early access is February first. And I think oh, I have soon. early access because oh, wow, I that's soon. pre-ordered the deluxe edition. Oh, that's soon. I have to jump on that. I think later. I, I think it's sometime in February is early access, which I mean to some extent, if 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 you're if you get through a pre-order early access, is that really? Didn't I think Scott the Waz made a point of like, is it really early? Like, what is the day one, day zero edition type thing? Like, it's really day one if you can get it on this date sort of thing <laughs> yeah it, as someone who was gonna pre-order mlb the show again because uh, i'm just a you know I you're a sin for and, mlb the show <laughs> where i make content so shut up um <laughs> or i did um i get it early access which is like two or three days ahead it doesn't like eh. yeah I, that, that game cost me a hundred dollars, and the funny part is, I will make it back. That's what's hilarious. I don't, I won't make it back all at once, but I will make back that money before the game's done. Yeah, I mean, if if, if that's what you, if that's when you're able to do with me, like I can't, I don't have a and, way to really and, uh, and I, make money. Does that, does that mean? Does games. that mean I can write it off as a work expense? Is that how that works? I mean, are you uh, when you report your taxes? Are you counting? Uh, no. God, no. Income from uh, streaming, so uh, no, because I don't make enough. But I was gonna say you don't make enough, so you don't have to. So oh, I won't. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. So uh, no, I don't to, think you can report it as a work expense because it's not all, you're not making the money in taxes. Oh, oh coming February 10th, according to. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I said uh, if there first, if yeah, there February if 10th. there are any IRS people, I pay my taxes and do it correctly, at least according to TurboTax. I am. Not, I don't commit tax fraud intentionally. Yeah, I let TurboTax kind of take. Yeah, if Turbo, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they get it wrong, then, then it's then, just wrong. Then I'm. Then you got to take it up with TurboTax. <laughs> yeah, but that's probably the only game like I'm really looking forward to. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, I'll be show, but that'll be like, God, if that game comes out in early March, I'm kind of screwed. Um. In terms of what you're going to play and when you're going to play it? No, I I don't want it to be, like, the same scenario that it was, like, this year. Because I had Tiny Tina's come out one week, and then the show came out the week after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort yeah. Of like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get That's that. All. So if there's, like, a little bit of breathing, we'll, we'll be good. So. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be playing it either way. I think I'll probably immediately play that on, uh, yeah. well, as much as I can on YouTube. Yeah. So I won't do like a full let's play. It'll just be kind of like, hey, I've been playing this. Yeah. Here's I, where I'm at. I, 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 for me, I've sort of turned into that where I, I no longer will do like continuous let's plays per se. I, I might just jump in. Like, I think I'm going to make. When I streamed earlier today, I have videos that are going to come from that stream. Kind of like how I, I, I've been ripping off Ludwig and like all his friends more and more. But I think it's just yeah. an easier way to go about it. So like taking kind of the chunks and throwing that stuff in there. Because real, realistically, one stream can be a week's worth of content. So um, I've been kind of going that route. So like I did Dead by Daylight as a killer. So I'll probably throw it you know, the highlights of that and like a 10 minute video and throw it out there um, and all that stuff. So not necessarily like I, I, I did let's plays. They're easy to record, easy to edit. It's just like, boom, 30 minutes, boom, you know, boom done. Um, but it, I guess it does kind of eliminate like the, the aspect of like, I don't know, taking like linear storytelling, I guess is in there where it's like if it's bits and pieces you get like the highlights i don't know maybe because i'm a, I, I stream so for me it's like there's this weird effect of like because it's on stream i you know if you want to see more of it go to the stream but you like you get the highlights 
on YouTube. But because, oh yeah, yeah. But because like I don't necessarily I don't necessarily do like linear gameplay anymore. Not I mean I do, but not as much. <laughs> like it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I. It's funny because I've kind of left um, Stanley Parable as a oh you can keep you know going along we'll keep going along on this but I think in the next week or two um, I I need to post I I still have a couple recordings that I've that I banked and I meant to record them and edit them in California and then like have them ready to post and then I just uh, I guess when I tried to put it on my my uh, cloud on my Google Drive. It uh, it didn't like fully upload, so uh, it's, it's I never got to I never got to actually do that. So tomorrow I'm gonna try to post the video and okay. try to have it all edited. And that's Saturday um, the seventh. I, I I think <laughs> this next time I record, so the, it'll be a video in like three weeks. Um, I'll I'll uh, make it kind of like my last video of For of now. Stanley Parable for like for like regular playing like what i'll do is i'll say i'll play this again in a few weeks or whatever but it'll be uh you'll just kind of get to where i'm at because i really like the game but i can't i I can't play it in between because i'm trying to be like hey so this is where we were let's keep going sort of thing yeah or it's like last time on stanley's parable yeah yeah so yeah i get it i get it i understand but yeah, content. no, it's uh, fun times. Content. Yeah. content. Big C content. So Just, let's let's break down college football. Um, yeah, national championship. I, well, think, I was going to start. I was going to start before that. I thought we were going to work our way up. Oh, to it. Sure, sure. Actually, no. You're you're right. We should yeah, talk no, about yeah. USC getting. Uh, let's talk about. Let's talk about the light on their season. Let, yeah, let's talk and about then USC Utah having a blight on their season. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Uh, do we want to work? Do we want to go? We want to start with USC and go into Utah. I guess that's the natural. I mean, yeah, I guess in the order of the games that they happen. So uh, yeah, USC. Alex Grinch needs to be fired, despite what others will say. I will no longer. De- I I don't defend him. We heard it from J Rod that like Alex Grinch has always been a problem, um, even with OU. He needs to go. I think. The problem is it really came down to a safety, a late safety that didn't need to happen. So because of a muff punt. So it was just it, it, it's it's fatal mistakes. And I've heard others say, oh, it, it's because the talent, it's a talent level thing. I I, <laughs> I am not one. I, I hate the excuse of it's a talent thing. I think that's a lame excuse. We're both we we played sports there. there when you're at when you get to a certain level, it's no longer it's a talent thing. Um, I think like you're playing Tulane. Okay. Tulane was Tulane's ranked 16th. Right. But in terms of talent, USC is going to have more talent. Um, they just made errors. It's that simple. They made hey, errors. They just shot themselves in the foot. Yeah. They, they made mental errors late and it came back to bite him. Um, that was just a wild ending. I was all of a sudden, it I, was I was like, laughing. Oh, I, I, lose? I okay. legitimately laughed because what was funny is so it came back to so another once we talk once we get to like the Florida TCU game, it came back to another stupid came back to targeting. It came another targeting call, and the funny thing was, similarly, it's it's funny because Scott and I had this conversation when, once we get to Georgia, but he and I were talking on Twitter about targeting and how I'm like. It's letter of the law targeting. What happened in that game is, I'm like letter of the law targeting in the other game. It was like head down, he hit him. Letter of the law. Um, in USC, it was less targeting and more so. The guy lowered his head, and you're gonna. They both got hurt. Whose fault was it? Arguably, it's the wide receivers because he's lowering his. He he's just going to lower his head when the defender's trying to wrap him. They didn't call anything. The cur- it was the correct call, despite Tulane being like, what are you talking about? It's the correct call because we call targeting every defensive guy who played defensive back and corner is going to be like, you can't, you got to start defending the corners. This is getting out of hand. Correct call. But it comes down to USC's mental mistakes. They need to get, this needs to change. But, but 
I can't say the season was a complete failure. They went from horrible to almost being in the college football playoff and just a couple of bad mistakes. That that's really it. I I can't say they they failed. They did better than I expected. It was just mental errors. And that cost them. Yeah, I mean, look, if you're USC, you had you had like a couple seasons in the past few years where you lost to BYU. So to have a season where your only losses came to Utah and then your bowl game against Tulane, it's a great turnaround. Um, and, I, and I think that's kind of what I pointed out on uh, Twitter, um, which which was I said, you know, like it's a it's a really bad, you know, it's a really bad mark on a really ugly mark on what was otherwise a great season for USC. Well, I mean, there's three. And I say that, and I say that really despising USC as a no, it, it, it's not a bad year. Like you can look, it was a good, it, it was a great it, year, but a really terrible ending. And yeah. what people are going to remember from USC was not that they had a great season. No, it's it that they the lost. They, they lost. At the end. They lost the two lane. But it was so so it was the same thing last year for BYU and so that's why like I don't I don't feel bad for USC no, that's I why I was kind I of laughing at them on Twitter I don't, I because don't feel last bad. year we lost to UAB and even though like everybody who would look at that could understand like I don't I could understand that BYU only lost because they you know like they had like half their team sitting yeah it, it it's not it's still like people are only going to remember the fact but that I mean they lost. The, the whole thing oh. is to like fo- like football happens i'm not trying to say like oh football happened like that's why usc lost no usc should have won that game a thousand percent but did mental errors happen and a little bit of football happen yeah 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 it happened now that's really all i have to say about usc like it was a great year they got momentum. Ugly, ugly, ugly end to a great and otherwise great year. It was a rough. It was the last. The last few games were absolutely rough. They gave up, I think, combined over eighty points. Combined, like I said, I think it, if you're Lincoln Riley and you're in this football program, AD wise and booster wise, um, you got to have conversations about. Hey, I know you don't like having special coaches, but maybe we get special teams guys. We get coaches who can kind of handle this because this can't be continuing again because that like i said in the last podcast we did live with j-rod and scott i'm like this isn't oklahoma he's not this is usc money there's money there's boosters you're gonna get guys who will not donate to this program if expectations aren't met they bit their tongue with clay helton because they really didn't have a choice because Clay Helton had probably the world's luckiest timing as a coach. He, I think, in 2017, he won a Rose Bowl. In 2018, I think he had Sam Darnold for, what, two years? 20, 2017, 2018. 2019, he sucked. COVID hit, and he went undefeated and got into the title game or some nonsense. And then 2021. So the guy had just kept extending his life because of nonsensical circumstances. So they kept him. And then when they fire him, you're left with a mess of recruiting. And Lincoln Riley, who we thought, who is an offensive, who knows offense, but now we're realizing, oh my God, this guy can't play defense and his defensive coordinator is an idiot. I don't know how long that's going to stand, how long that leash is going to be on him before somebody says, we're firing Alex Gritch, go find somebody else. Yeah, because that's going to happen. Because if they, for whatever reason, I don't know if you watched any more of the Pac-10 games, but I, I watched the Holiday Bowl with Oregon. That they looked horrid against the Coastal in North Carolina. They looked horrible. Utah, who we're going to talk about, I guess now they looked horrendous against Penn. And I knew Penn was. I even told Scott, I go, Penn's going to rock you guys. You're not going to know what hit you when it comes to Penn State. Although I ironically, was ironically, shocked. ironically, what did I say? I go, you can't, you you can't be go- talking crap about teams when quarterbacks go down. And look what happened to Rising. He goes down, and the whole offense goes kaput, kaput. I have never seen uh, instant karma so quickly in my life because every Utah fan that was talking smack went quiet. 
I will say, as much back as I talked to USC, Caleb Williams was the best best player in the in the country. I mean, he won the Heisman for a reason. No, I, um, the, but like, I I have but, never seen I I have never seen an like I I get it when it comes to like your QB one that's your QB one. I have never seen an offense fall so hard so quickly. Or, for me, it wasn't even so much the offense. Like, yeah, like there was a bit there in terms of like, uh, that was an ugly, like, you know, like. But their like defense they, just broke. Their defense. What was happened? Just, they, they gave up, they gave up, I think, two 80 yard touchdowns, one a run, and one a pass. And the, here's the thing I, I, I don't think anybody, like, you could say, you could say, oh, yeah, I told you. Penn State was going to rock. No, you I, know, I, Utah. I thought Utah like, was going to Could you lose. have called? But I would have said that. Could you have no. called? No, I wouldn't have said that. Two eighty-yard touchdowns. No. I don't think anybody could. No. Anybody who's watched Utah's defense this year, no, I, would I, not have said, "Oh, they're going to have some major big plays." I, that was absolutely wild. I think the watch. only thing I think the only thing you could say is they did give up. 40 to, to USC with Caleb Williams fully healthy. Yeah, yeah. So, I, mean, I, so I don't know. When they're I, faced I know, against a good offense. So I, yeah, so I know I, I haven't watched Penn State the whole year. I don't know. They were they only lost to both Michigan and Ohio State. So take that for what it's worth. Two, two FBS final college playoff guy, teams. Yeah. So I it, arguably they're the third best team in the pack in the Big Ten. Take that for what it's worth. Does that mean anything? I don't know. I don't know how steep of a decline it is from from that as a, as an overall whole. I don't know how good their quarterback plays. I don't watch a lot of Big Ten football. But I will say, if the quarter, at least at least from from that perspective, it does seem like Utah's defense has a problem against like top tier quarterback talent. Because I think next year, I mean, I mean, their first game, loss of the yeah, season so, was to Florida, and, yeah, Florida, and that was Florida gave off Florida. Yeah, Florida, Florida's quarterback, I think, is going to be a first round pick. Bo Nix is when when going right to Heisman candidate. Caleb Williams won the Heisman. Like I said, I think the guy they face, I can't remember his name for the life of me, um, is probably like another like solid upper talent. Um. I don't know if it's just what it is. Like I said, I think when it comes to football, football happens a lot of times. And like I said, in that call we had originally, it's hard as much as you talk and be like, well, we're better than USC. We beat them twice. You beat USC by one point and with a hurt Caleb Williams. I don't know if that necessarily means you're better, but you were better than them for that collective two hours. So good on you. Go do it in a Rose Bowl. And they've gotten the back-to-back Rose Bowls and lost them both. Granted, Rising's been hurt in both of those games, but I, I said well, it, that was, but I said it during. That was a, a, I mean, that was a freak injury, right? I, I think, but it's like it's, yeah. there, there's this thing with quarter like quarterbacks like Rising where it's like you need to like not take hits. You need like th- that's one thing they talk about all the time, and I'm sure they're gonna talk about it with Caleb Williams next year. Is like learning not to take hits, learning not to. Rising just runs into it. Run, he's a madman. He'll run into these hits and jaw. And that was the one thing I I said during the end. I go, he's gonna keep jawing. He's gonna get himself hurt. He, it, this is gonna get choppy really quickly. I'm not saying that's what happened, but I am saying was he hit a little bit harder because he was you know chir- doing his little chirping maybe. But it, it happens. And I like I said, I haven't seen an offense fall apart like that in a while. I know you're no Utah homer, yeah. but it's a uh, well. No, yeah, I'm a BYU guy, so it, it, <laughs> it, it it's to something. Utah, I'm kind of just uh, and like, like I said, I, I I can kind of laugh because Oklahoma lost and U- and Utah lost, and they were like, "Screw USC." So no, but I, at the end of the day, USC might have lost the game, but I think we won the war because both of them suck. Both of them lost the bowl game. <laughs> so the way I look at it, it it might be you might be a one. But USC, man, we still got it because both of y'all lost. Now next year, oh, who man. knows? But I, we'll see what happens. I think it was a really rough year for the Pac-12 in terms of bowls. My, they got lucky. My last thought on 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 the Rose Bowl was just if you had told me 
uh, between last year's Ohio State team, which is a really good Ohio State team, and this year's Penn State team, which which game would be a closer game? I would never, ever have guessed that the Ohio State game last year would be the, the one that was close and down to the wire, whereas this year's Penn State game was just kind of over for a while in the fourth quarter. I think they got gas, kinda, but I don't, like I said, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know. Like I said, I think it was a rough year for the Pac-12 overall, and I think it's going to be a rough year again next year. Um, it's going to be I rough said, until they leave, until USC and UCLA leave, I, I don't even so. know, because like I said, the only thing that scared me was Utah, and it was basically because I know Utah can get loud. And I I know the crowd was mainly Utah guys, which didn't surprise me, but that, that stadium got quiet. <laughs> Like you, you heard it change that. Like, yeah, that third got yeah. Penn State was got loud. But shifting gears, yeah. shifting, shifting gears. So we had the final on Monday. That was a great weekend of college football, by the way. Just that was a the, great weekend well, of football in so, general. So before, yeah, before we like, let's like as part of our preview for for the Georgia TCU national championship. Like it was, it was a great uh, the uh, national championship as part of a preview. I, I was just thinking like. Um, that that weekend of college football, the semifinals, uh, I was just like such good football. Nobody thought, nobody in their right mind thought, oh yeah, TCU's gonna beat Michigan. I think even when I think even when TCU had the lead well into the second half, people were still thinking, yeah, but Michigan's gonna pull it out. It's they're the better team. I thought Michigan was gonna sudden, make a run. I didn't think they. And were then all of the sudden. The game just was like it was TCU and they won, and I was just like I was. I'm so happy about it because like, like you know, I'm a BYU homer basically. So yeah. BYU's headed to the Big Twelve next year, and we're gonna be playing in a team. We're gonna be playing in a conference you know where one of the teams was in the national freaking title. championship. Yeah, you know what's funny is somebody was like, "Man, I generally don't care for you know third place games or anything." But it's not like the two teams that lost have like you know a rivalry or anything. Yeah, yeah, that would have been that would be kind of fun to see them kind of go at it. But I think both teams would be like, nah, all our star players don't want to play because they're getting ready for either the NFL draft or next yeah, season. What, so. I mean, that's what you're gonna get, unfortunately. Like I think, and, like, and then now you've got Jim days. Harbaugh getting he's gonna get fined um, for recruiting violations. And there's, the talk is he's probably going to the NFL, uh, assuming he gets an offer. And I'm more I'm than sure. Indy, I think, I, I'm I sure my Colts will. Offer. I'm sure my off my Colts will want, will try to offer him. Yeah, either the Colts or the Broncos, I think, will get him. Because what's um, funny? Well, here's what's funny, and people forget this because I remember when he was coaching the when it when he and Carroll first came in, is because they since they you know are newer to college they can kind of find more diamonds in the rough in later rounds for drafting so when you have that in your arsenal yeah you get a little bit more depth in the draft so if but you, yeah but yeah when but you're TCU when you're low on draft and, picks yeah. yeah well so yeah tcu and and um and they won and they had their uh they had Max Max Duggan. He's a, he's a he's a real like he's got that dog in him. I don't, is, is that the I the cool way to use that now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So I going into this Monday, I don't. When it comes to Georgia, I'm I'm still thinking like Georgia is gonna win. I. <sighs> it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be interesting though. But maybe I mean, look, I would if you if you if if Georgia had come out and dominated Ohio State. I would agree. I would agree and say, look, that game's over before it starts because look at what Georgia just did. But Georgia Georgia needed a missed field goal in order to make it to this game. And yeah. I mean that kicker just shanked the the field goal. At midnight. I, yeah, oh, yeah, at, at midnight, midnight. That was a great it was a well, great so, New Year celebration for everybody, I guess. In what was funny, so what's funny is I was live with my buddy CJ. We were playing. I was playing oh, yeah. Warlands Three on his channel, and we we literally stopped our play. And we're like, "All right, we gotta watch this." And we're joking. We're like, "Is this game gonna end at midnight?" And it basically did end at midnight. It basically did. I mean, there was but like we were, eight yeah. seconds. Yeah. So my but, favorite my favorite part of that whole ending though was George's coach after the missed field goal 
was like, guys, get back to the sidelines. Get back to the sidelines. Because he was like, I do not want a penalty right now. Yeah, he didn't we want a penalty. To go to the national yeah. championship. He didn't want game. a penalty. He didn't want to re-kick. Because what was funny is I think on I think oh, because Pat Mac, because I think on ESPN's like other telecast, it was the Pat McAfee guys. And Pat made the point because he didn't he said he didn't see it. But when they called the timeout, he made the point that I think it was either on his show or he said it there. But he made the point that the kicker didn't get a chance to dry run it. He didn't get like yeah. he, they didn't get a dry run to where it's just like, oh, okay, I can do this. He didn't get he didn't get that. Um, I don't know if that played into it, but I know I think he said later like it looked like the snap wasn't necessarily good. Um, wasn't like wasn't great, and that's but it looked like he just went whoo, like he shanked that thing. He shanked yeah. it. He shanked it hard. But uh, no, so Georgia TCU. If you had told me at the beginning of the year this would be our two teams, I would have said yeah, Georgia. But uh, what are you talking about with TCU? They're they're they just came off a five and seven. Se- they didn't play in a bowl game last year. Yeah, you know, the national title you, game. You know, you know what's funny is what? I, I only bring this up because I I think it would have been an interesting point about an interesting like factoid I guess um if USC had gotten in if you so if USC gotten in at the four you would have had two teams that had had disappointing years prior in the college playoff I'm not saying USC would have beat oh would have beat Georgia I think they would have been railroaded but I'm saying how cool but hypothetically speaking how interesting would it have been that you would have had two teams that didn't get weren't even sniffing it. I don't think USC went to a bowl game last year. I don't think. Yeah. Like two teams that didn't have bowl games got in. Like how wild that would have been. Yeah, yeah. But said you got three traditional powers and TCU who might run the table. Yeah. That would be it would be interesting. It would be interesting. I, I mean we'll do our predictions towards the end of our uh towards the end of this whole coverage or whatever you want to call this. But I I don't want to count TCU out. By, by no means am I going to sit here and say Georgia's got this one in the bag. Um, but I have a hard time coming up with a way that Georgia loses to TCU in this moment. Did this football happen? Yeah, I mean... That's the thing. Like anything can happen. That's that's the magic of college football. Um, and I guess we'll see. You know, tonight uh, this will this will be up on Monday. So tonight, when this when this air or you know when the college when the championship happens, I guess we'll see what goes on. Um, but but you know, it's it's I I'm just. Fascinated to see how uh, how TC manages to, you know, keep up the magic and keep things going. So, like I said, I think anything can happen in college football, and we'll see. Yeah, I mean, look, this is gonna be a battle of quarterbacks. Well, I mean, obviously, the defenses for both the Horn Frogs and the and the um, and the Bulldogs are are both exceptional defenses. Obviously, the Bulldogs like pretty much the best defensive line you could ever have, and, and just one of the best you know defenses overall in the nation. And but I mean, I think this comes down to like your, your two X factors are Stetson Bennett and and Max Duggan. Who's who's able to be, and and if who's Max gonna, Duggan somehow comes be, out here and then wins the national championship yeah. for TCU for the for the first it would be so fascinating for the first Texas school to win a national championship in the college football playoff area uh, era for it to be TCU would be so wild and the first you would have thought Texas well what's so speaking of maybe A and M but. Interestingly for Texas is that that Rose Bowl was like what 2006 or something 
Like, I think that was that the last title the state of Texas won in college football. Was that one? Um, I think they so. Didn't, they didn't. I don't think they did anything with Colt in the Colt McCoy era with Shipley. I don't think they did anything then. Yeah, let me uh, let me look this up. Last national championship for Texas. Two thousand five. Yeah, so that one. When they beat Reggie Bush. I hate that game with a fiery passion. <laughs> well, I mean it is what it is, right? <laughs> but uh no, I mean, um no, but yeah, like if you were to tell me like that was who would win it, like I mean T T C used to be back in the day, back in the Mountain West days for BYU used to be conference foe that BYU had to play. Yeah. I, if you had told me back then, yeah, they're going to be in the national championship game in 2022 and be the first Texas school to be in the national championship game after they've made some major changes. It's like, oh, how? Like, how does this welcome, team go from... Welcome to NIL deals, baby, and transfer portals. Well, and, and then and then um, right now, Texas is like a recruiting hotbed. Yeah, Texas so college. it would not be it would not be shocking for the next five years or so to be yeah. and, a huge thing about Texas and Texas Tech and Texas A and M yeah. and and plus, all those schools and TCU just having like their way with the rest of the well, like college I said, football we, we were talking, landscape again to kind of flash back here and listen to the college football episode. Go check it out. But we when we're talking about recruiting, Texas University of Texas still recruits really really. Well. You have guys like Vince Young, um, you know, Ricky Williams, and others who can just go recruit for you. Colt McCoy, Jordan Shipley, who can go recruit because, like we said, it's like, hey, you might not know who they are, but your parents do. So I don't necessarily know, you know, how much that plays in with TCU. But, I mean, TCU saying, hey, we were just in the college football playoff when, when that was Texas in there. Oh, you know, never. And their last, their last uh, you know, title was... Um, 2005. It was almost, you know, going on 19 years at this point. And what's funny is they brought up the anniversary of that on Twitter, and it's quite literally they played that game twice in its entirety that day. It had like breakdowns of it on their network. I'm like, this is the only thing Texas has was that game from almost 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't been quite the same since Vince Young left. So. And now he, he Ben Young has no money, so hey, get on it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that happened. I mean, <sighs> the George. So Georgia has a chance to go back to back. TCU basically went from nothing, went from worst to first. There's a lot of storylines, and we'll see what happens. So I think this is the first time in a while we're not looking and going like that's it, like you know talking NFL with this game because it's like none of these guys are really going to be NFL prospects. Maybe some of the linemen. But sure as hell not quarterback play. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, no, it's good. It's, it's just I mean, so said, interesting. But I mean, Seth and Bennett's an old man. He's what, 26? I I don't know. I think something like he's that. Like though, yeah, he's like BYU's basketball team. Older. Yeah, he's like the BYU basketball team's in the late 20s. Yeah, I mean that's like BYU's whole all that's their athletics, all their is, athletics is guys who are dads and by the fathers, time they're graduating, they're fathers, all like twenty five, fathers in our age, closer to our Zach age. Zach Wilson was one of the few that didn't uh, yeah, Zach go on a mission. Yeah, Zach so. Wilson didn't do the rock star thing. Well, now, but well, I think we know why. It was didn't. also, it's also, it's also, yeah. I was gonna say, in we the know end, why. It's also he didn't, we he's we not know really, what uh, we know. We know why. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really practice the tenets of. Uh, of I was Mormonism. Like, I wasn't going so. after the tenets of Mormonism. I was saying, because uh, you, never mind. You know where I was going with this. You just took it. Yes, yes. Said, what? He's, he's got that dog in him. But uh, isn't that what the, <laughs> the reference is? No, I was going to say, yeah. that that there ain't nothing wrong with being a cub. That's <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to say. He ain't but, coming, back. No, he um, coming back to that rock star, but he ain't want them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well,. I, I he hanging out he hanging out never mind I'm, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop <laughs> I was gonna say you don't want to you don't want to you, you don't want to get demonetized or whatever on this monetized. one dude, so 
<laughs> You're like, I'm not monetizing any of this. Joke's on you. <laughs> Who's sponsoring this? I am. Go buy my merch. It's Dex Gaming merch. They do have merch, by no, the way. Um, Links down below. Um, Go buy a hoodie. Or a t-shirt. I, I, I really just want this to be a good game. I, I want it to be like a last second Georgia has to try to hail Mary it in for the last second win sort of thing. And, you know, I want TCU to win it, really, actually. That's if you had to ask who I was rooting for, that's who I'm rooting for. TCU. If you have to ask who I'm predicting to win, maybe not. But coward. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I mean. I think it'll be a good game because I think uh, TC has shown that they are a real team. They're solid. Um, they beat Michigan. Michigan beat Ohio State, and Ohio State came close to beating Georgia. So doesn't that, by all like the uh, transference stuff, I don't know. Anymore. Doesn't that mean that uh, TCU could beat uh, Georgia? I think anything's possible mm. in sixty minutes of college football. Yeah, but no. Um, it honestly, like the fact that the whole college football season came down to TCU squeaking into the college football playoff and then making the championship. Yeah, this is why I love college football. That's why you love it more in the this NFL. Is, I uh, I far, okay. I far. Look, don't get me wrong, I like the NFL, but it is not college football. The drama and the 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 Are you telling there's not gonna be drama? Are you telling me there will not be drama when Buffalo takes on Kansas City for the third consecutive year? Okay, okay. yeah, there's always drama. Are you telling me there won't be drama when when, drama in the NFL? When when Kyle when when Allen takes on Brady again and Brady football. wins ring number 500, are you telling me? The, the problem is, is if next year the Indianapolis Colts, if next year the Indianapolis Colts made the AFC championship game and I'm then ended up going to the Super Bowl, I look, yeah, it would be quite the turnaround and I wouldn't know from Not now really. how that would happen. Not really, to be completely honest with you. It's a week. Well, I mean, it's a, the AFC South a weak division. Like all they sure, they, they, sure, they are a quarterback away, and they're probably going to get one. All they need is a comp, a you know, competent coach, and this guy's the damn limit. And a quarterback so, who, who's mean, not who doesn't okay, hang I'm out. I'm not saying citizen. that's impossible. But, and a, and okay. a quarterback that's hang out to hold folks home. But you know, that's either here nor there. How about how about the Texans? If the, if you ah. were to tell me the Texans next year were to make the Super Bowl. I wouldn't believe you right now necessarily. Oh, I wouldn't I either. Would be, I'd be much less shocked than if at the beginning of this past season you had told me TCU was going to be in the national championship game. Because I'll it's tell you NFL. what, one will happen, the other one will. A lot of ultra talented guys, and anything can like any anything between now and through the off season, anything can change by next by the time next season starts, and all of a sudden the Houston Texans. Have found some hidden gem, and then all of a sudden they're marching through the season. And you know, I mean, I mean, like nobody saw the Philadelphia Eagles' absolute dominance of the league this year. Um, you know, through most of the season um, until uh, um, what's his name went down. But but I don't I don't know. Just the fact the fact that like any random team in the college football could suddenly have this just like moment and then break into the college football playoff. I just, that's why I love college football. I, and I, I like the NFL. I, I, I would even say to some extent, I love the NFL, but I love college football. You might disagree with me on that. I don't know. I love college football, but I, 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 I it's I just, just harder to I, keep. I think it's a lot more to intrigue to me for college football because of all the moving parts. So, But anyways, I, if, I'll tell you this much. How about, how if, about, how about, I'll say this much: if the call, if college football had a red zone, I'd mind that channel in a heartbeat because that'd be hell of a, that'd be a hell of a. Oh thing. yeah, dude, could you imagine like seven out, like going up till prime time, 
like seven hours, like from not, uh, like eight hours of uninterrupted fo- college football. Oh my god, injected into my veins. Yeah, yeah. I I would drink that, and if the NCAA could somehow configure that, that'd be great. Um, no, I mean, I think uh, in terms of uh, segue, uh, do you do you have a prediction for uh, as maybe your final and maybe a final thought on? What yeah. you expect from um, this game? It'll be a good game for sure. Uh, I, I I think Georgia is gonna go back to back. Would it shock me if TCU won? No, I'd be lying if I if if I said yes. I think TCU has a shot for sure. Um, but I think Kirby Smart plays just like a slow like. We're gonna hit him in the mouth style of football, and I think that, like, I think that style just holds up a little bit better because then Stetson Bennett doesn't have to be perfect. All he has to be is like, like he can be the NF, he can be a scheme quarterback, you know, and they can still win. I don't think TCU has gets that luxury not that that's a bad like a, a bad thing i just I, I i think there's a longer leash for tech with with georgia sure but i think it's gonna be close so, i think it'll be within like 10 points so final score prediction what's your final score Thirty four twenty four. okay I would say, yeah, I it's gonna be a I think it's gonna be a fun game. I what think I think a lot of people are gonna come into this expecting Georgia to blow TC out of the water. Maybe that happens. I don't think it will. I think TC has shown this year that when it, when pressed up against the wall and when when told not to expect much, that they can do more than they're expected to do. Um, what do you expect them to do? Basically, if if you were to ask me based on like these teams on paper, by the way, it would uh, I would probably say. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. By the way, the line is Georgia minus twelve and a half. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I would ex- if if you were to just tell me on paper, my expectations would probably be thirty five to twenty one. Um, but that being said, I think that with TCU, you, you just. It feels like one of those teams where it's just going to something's going to happen. That's going to be like fun to watch. Um, And ultimately, I think it comes down to the wire and I'm going 24 to 21, Georgia. I heard 20. I want to to pick 24, 21. Wow. Okay. So we're in the same boat. I want. (laughs) Yeah. I want to pick the upset. I just can't bring myself to doubt Georgia. They're just, they're one of the best. Yeah. I mean, they're good. It's as simple as that. So, um, I think, I mean, I mean, with Georgia, I think the thing is, is you might have a dynasty on your hands, like the likes of, of, uh, Saban at Alabama. I don't know that we're going to get a lot more years of Saban at Alabama. I mean, Saban will be at Alabama for many years to come, but I don't think we're going to get that same dominance that we had. And I think Georgia is part of the reason. Um, so unless something happens and Georgia's coach like moves on to the NFL or something, I think you've got Georgia for years to come. And uh, Ryan Key of Yellow Card would be ecstatic about that. That's true. The last, when so. I first met, the only time I met him, I was like, Georgia, really? He's like, I'm from Georgia. Lost yeah. to Auburn. So, what does that say about you, sir? <laughs> that was good times. But uh, no, yeah. Not so, after, twenty-four, twenty-one. Afterwards. My final prediction. Okay. Georgia, Georgia will be back-to-back national champions. Um, but if they aren't, I won't be completely shocked. So, right. if if TCU does win, I'm expecting twenty-eight, twenty-four. It'll be if TCU wins, it's because. Georgia goes up 24 to 21 with a minute and a half left and TCU marches the ball up the field and wins on a last second touchdown. 
that's what I would expect to happen. Yeah, probably. Honestly, same. <laughs> so, should be but fun. I didn't realize they gave they were giving him twelve and a half. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, this is a team that's that you'd a, expect that's almost to two, dominate TCU. But that's two, two, almost two touchdowns. That's three scores. Yeah. That's insane. I mean, I know it's called football, and like that's how the spread, that's how these lines are. Is like they're gonna be yeah pulled like that. That's, it's that's just wild. the expectation is is that Georgia has been here before TCU just kind of found their way here. That's so wild. All right. So. Yeah, that's a lot. So, okay. that's a lot. Good college football. Yeah, college football, good. What do you know? All right. So I think that about wraps up this episode, right? Yeah, a slightly more uh, focused episode, kind of like what we talked about last week. Yeah, there you go. So Trying to get more uh, <laughs> focused uh, episodes in there. Yeah, there we go. So new, new style, new, new thing. Um, You've, the the video, video, the elements. He's he's. Yeah, video Spurs over over there. I'm over. I'm oh, right no here, way. Bryce. I'm still doing Bryce is this way. He's he's over here. No it's weird to be in a mirror. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so hopefully we'll probably do some of this stuff live. Um, yeah, it should be fun. You know, if someone else had a Twitch channel, we could bounce back and forth, but we don't, so we can't. Wait, are you talking about me? Yes, yes. Um, I do. I do technically have a Twitch. Do you want to do some of this live? No, I just on stream. Um, but. So you get, you get a video feed if you're into that kind of thing. It's not cool. I mean, I can upload the video to Spotify, but um, I won't because that's stupid. But all right, because <laughs> that's right. stupid. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, but so we're coming back next week. We'll be back kind of the old format. We'll be probably talking more baseball. We got the World Baseball Classic coming up in a month, two months. Pitchers and catchers reports, so, so you will get some more baseball talk. We'll definitely have more video game talk as we go along. Uh, I'm sure maybe we'll... there'll be an update in Carlos Correa. Oh, that's that stuff's getting wilder and wilder. Uh, yeah, among Trevor Bauer and all that fun stuff because oh know, yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. you know he's probably going to sign for a league minimum. So we got we'll have hopefully we'll have some stuff kind of cooking up. I'm sure we'll talk more content go along but here's the 23 a new new style new outlook new thing um i even have a new logo that i didn't even show bryce yet like, oh I have man a whole, like this whole thing didn't you just have a new logo no i've had this one i thought this one logo is no this new no, i've had this one since i started all, all oh really like, all the stuff you've seen up to now i've had the only stuff that's new is this so like that coffee image i got like three weeks in <laughs> i had taylor make it i asked taylor to make it for me he did it like great he's like yeah sure i got you bam boom bada bing pow, pow right there so yeah we're, we're rolling out some new stuff throughout um and all that soon yeah fun times yeah all right we'll see you guys all next week sometime Anything you want to say, add before we go, Bryce? No. Have a good week, guys. Uh, go Horn Frogs. TCU. All right. See you all then. Bye. See you guys.